kids, we're back. It's been a while. Been kind of busy, but Hell here yeah. we are. <clears throat> we are on some road. Battistella Road. Yeah, and uh, we're approaching Love's Valley. And uh, yeah, it's just been a hell of a long time and we just figured, fuck it. Tonight's a YOLO night. So here we are, once again, wandering aimlessly. Yeah, what we do best. That's right. You know what, fuck it. I mean, uh, lots of people on YouTube, you know, post vlogs and whatnot and that sort of thing, but how many people do it while they're out on the open road? Not too many. That's right. How about you? You? Well, I do, because we're doing it now. I know that. I do. Yeah. Yeah. How about you people out there? Do you? Do you? Any, any, any of you? Yeah, you know, all, all three or four of you that watch this show, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know. So, uh, yeah, this is the first official video since the last moment with Nate's grandma and our little April Fool's thing that we made. Concocted. Which, if you can believe, we planned that thing for about a year. Yeah. Oh. Yep, yeah, we're officially in Love's Valley now. Mm-hmm. So, fuck it, we're going to stay in Love's Valley head this direction but yeah it's, you know it's good to be back on the camera again oh, you know? yeah hopefully I'll get some gaming content out for the month of May you know I only we only did the one video this month I guess you could kind of say this month was our vacation month I yeah. guess yeah because considering you know a lot of things have been going on yeah different things you know we don't want to go into too many details right um, now, but eventually. When that moment comes, it, it, it'll be a, a thing. Definitely. That's right. Right, right, right now, we're, we're not revealing too much, but there's some things happening, and yeah. you know, and that's all we got to say about that for right now. I had I had some family up, and this weekend, I'm also having some family come up, or come down from Connecticut. I had family come up from New Jersey two weekends ago. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it, it was great. Plus, you know, on my end of things, you know, I've just kind of been busy in general. Yeah. Uh, getting in, getting, approaching summer, you know, me being in the retail business, it tends to be a pretty busy season. And, uh, yeah. Speaking of which today. Yeah. Since uh, we're talking about, you know, that sort of thing. I normally am just a cashier, you know, that's what I do. I've talked about it before. Well, today I picked up a shift in our garden center at the store because I needed a little extra work, you know. And they decided to let me have a couple hours out there and I said, sure, why the hell not? So, you know, I'm standing there at the garden center checkout because that's pretty much all I really know how to do do in retail <laughs> but uh, you know they, they were just glad that someone was tending the counter so they could get actual work done so yeah. whatever and of course part of you know that position when you're you know not working a main checkout you know your responsibilities also include answering the phone which I you know did whenever there would be a call come in for that department and uh, me not being a regular, it's kind of hard to answer questions when people, you know, call in and want to know shit. Because when it's not your regular job, you tend to not really know a lot of stuff about it. Right, yeah. I, I, I mean, I that. know a fair bit about that stuff, but not near as much as those that do it every day. So, yeah. Anyway, the first phone call that I answer. Yeah. It's a person wanting to know if we had a portable gas grill and they wanted a very specific one because the store they were at in the town they were at didn't have it and they thought maybe our store would. Yeah. Because sure, you know it's all part not. of the same franchise, you know, mm -hmm. it's a different location. So they called us. And of course, me being next to the phone, 
I had to try and come up with some sort of answer. Yeah, give them some bullshit. They were telling me how much it cost at the store they were at, which chances are it was the same price at ours, but you know. Yeah. And they give me an item number. Mm -hmm. Giving me an item number is like telling me the formula to build a nuclear warhead, because to me that doesn't mean shit. Because I don't know how to look that shit up. I'm, I'm just an extra body they stuck in an empty shift because I needed it and they just wanted someone to stand there and you know, ring out plants and shit. So I said, well, let me go see if I have that. So there I am wandering the grill section looking for this portable grill. I find one extremely similar to what they're talking about. Wasn't exactly what they were talking about, or at least not the way it was described to me. I don't know if it was the same item number that they gave me, because I don't know how to tell. And, uh, I, they gave me a price that was like $39.96, and the one I found was $39.86. So I said, fuck it, close enough. It was the color they wanted. They wanted a red one, and they wanted a portable grill. They wanted yeah. it to be gas. Well, this met all the criteria. Wasn't sure if it was the same one, but I figured, eh, fuck it, close enough. So I get back on the phone and tell them, yeah, we have one. That's it. Because mm -hmm. that was, you know, the only one I could find. It's like, we have one. And they said, well, can you hold it? And I said, sure. So, you know, I got their information, wrote it down, stuck it there next to the other 50,000 notes that are stuck there on the little area where they put all that stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that was a thing. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what ever became of that because I left before those people showed up because they said they were going to be there after 3 o'clock and that was the exact time that I was going to leave. <laughs> so, that was an interesting little you know, adventure, not knowing what the hell I'm looking for. Of course, there was nobody in sight for me to ask, because they're all off doing something else elsewhere, you right. know. <laughs> Outside watering plants, or out in the um, overstock trailer moving shit around, or what yeah. have you. You name it. Right. So that just left me there by my lonesome at the counter. Which, you know, I'm perfectly fine with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, Get another call later on. Different person, similar situation. They were also at this other store. I'm thinking, holy shit, their garden center must be selling stuff off the shelf left and right. Because they never seem to have any fucking thing. And this lady knew what she wanted, but at the same time, she sure sounded like she didn't. Because she was trying to describe to me that she needed chair cushions for like outdoor you know like lounge chairs and stuff and she wanted a very specific one she said I got this one down here that's red with like a, like a leaf on it and I don't want the red one I want the one that's like tan and has like leaves and stuff on it and I'm like well let me see what we have they're like $14 let me see what they have I'll put it on hold <laughs> so I wander over to the chair cushion rack and I found one that was tan on the back and green on the front with a leaf pattern on it that was 14 something I think this must be what this crazy person wants and uh, make a note of this area where we are right now because I'm going to tell a story about this later but anyway getting back to the story at hand here I get back on the phone, I'm like, I think I have the one you're looking for, and I have five of them. Okay, I'll be there in about ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes go by, nobody. It's like, yeah, okay. And the reason why I was pretty sure they weren't going to be there in ten minutes is this other store that they were supposedly at's about an hour away. And again... 3 o'clock rolled around. See ya! So I don't know what became of that either. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was the, 
basically the gist of my day. The rest of the day was just spent standing there waiting for someone who wanted to buy something, which, you know, is about the opposite of how I normally do my job when I, you know, run right. a regular checkout yeah. where it's like every 4.7 microseconds I'm on to the next order and it's like 150 items, you know, 300 bucks worth of somebody's groceries, mm -hmm. you know. But, Sometimes you know, mine. <laughs> right. But not three hundred dollars. Christ, no. if I had a three hundred dollar fucking grocery bill right now, I would be broke every goddamn week. Well, you know, I get, you know, it, it's part of the job, really. You know, I get, you know, it's, the worst day every month is food stamp day. Yeah. Because people just think that because they get them that day, that's the day they need to go to the store, and they're all there at the same fucking time. But that's another rant for another time, because I want to get back to this other story I wanted to tell, changing subjects a little bit. It's time once again for my favorite segment of this show, Stories About My Neighbor. Oh, fuck. Man. Now, I mentioned to make a note of that little turn we were on back there, and if yeah. I told this story before, fuck it, I'm telling it again. It was many, many years ago, with me, my neighbor, and his son, you know, he was my friend back then, and... I hardly see a sign of him anymore, but that's a yeah. whole other story. He's married and, you know, shit like that. But anywho, we were coming out through here in the winter in a Chevy Cavalier, mm -hmm. and we were on that road, that exact particular road, yeah. going the other direction, mind you, but we were on that road. And there's snow on the ground, and yet it's kind of hard to tell right now because, you know, it's dark out and shit, but there was a field off to what would have been our left tonight, would have been to the right then, but... Yeah. And it's down in a hole. Yeah. Okay. This is how my neighbor's mind works. There was, I think it was like a groundhog or something, come running across the road. And he's the kind of sick bastard that he wanted to run it the fuck over. Mind you, there's snow on the road. Mm-hmm. He pulls the emergency brake to try and whip the car around and ends up putting us down in the field in the mud. <laughs> so there we are, sitting in the car, in the mud, in the middle of a cornfield, in the dead in, of winter. In the snow. In the snow. You know. There we are, just sitting there. He gets out, has his son get in the driver's seat. Mind you, we were just kids at the time. Yeah, sure, why the fuck not? So yeah, there he is sitting in there. There's my neighbor outside the car trying to he-man it out of the mud. Mud slinging everywhere. Car's getting the piss wrapped out of it. Well, finally he grabs and we get it back out on the road. So yeah. And of course, did we go home? No! We kept on Why going. Why fucking going? Why the fuck? Like any fucking redneck hillbilly would. That's right. I don't remember the rest of what happened that night, but I definitely remember that part. <laughs> I think the rest of the night must have been pretty uneventful, because that's the only memorable moment that stood out in my mind all these years. Yeah. But yeah, that happened right back there where we just were. Like I said, I might have told that story before, but fuck it. It was worth repeating. And I, I got a story about this road. I had a 91 Chevy Lumina. Mm-hmm. You know, just a plain Jane Lumina, you know, four-door V V6 automatic. Me and my old friend, I'm not going to mention any names because I don't talk to him anymore for obvious reasons, but I'm not going to mention that what they are. Well, um, obvious to us, to anybody watching this, they're going to have no fucking idea what you're talking exactly. about. Exactly. But anyway, we're on this very road that we're on right now, about a quarter, about three quarters of a mile back the way we just came, there was a slight turn and a dip in the road. Well, he told me, he said, see how fast you go go over that fucking dip. So I did. I hit that fucking dip in the road at 75 mile an hour the car all 
the car come off, all four tires came up off the fucking ground. When the car hit, it hit the front frame, smacked the front frame, kicked the car sideways, and we almost wound up over the, over the side of the bank. Nice. Yeah, that was an interesting day. <laughs> well, since you told that story, I'll tell this story. On the same road, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I won't say whose truck we were in. We know whose it was. It wasn't ours. <clears throat> we were going yeah. out through there. It was with one of this one's exits. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, this truck was a powerhouse. Yeah. Anyone who pays attention, you know, to our videos will probably know which one we're talking about because we included it in one of them. It's loud and it was fucking fast. Right, but anyway, we decided to, you know, fuck it, we're gonna see if this some bitch can do. So, we did. Uh, you know, we're going through the dips and over the hills and the humps, and we hit this one a flying. Hit Probably the, about 100 mile an hour. At the very least. The truck did not shut down, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know that. Oh, trust me, I'll vouch for that. It went into overdrive at 117 mile an hour and still fucking climbed. Yeah. The speedometer went up to 125 and I've had it, I had it further than that. Right. Well, anyway, long story short, our, you know, adventure ended when we almost slid into a fucking telephone pole. Yeah. Yeah, we all get out of the truck all about ready to shit our pants, you know, making sure that, you know, we weren't going to die from panic, you yeah. know. So, yeah, that was a hell of a trip. Here's another one that I probably told before, but, again, it's worth repeating. Yeah. In my old truck, which, you know, unfortunately has never made it into one of these road trip videos. No, it was just... It's it, been in some of our old shit, you know, yeah. you see it sitting there. But, keep, uh, going, keep going that I way. am going that way. Fuck. But, uh, anyway, we were going back one of the roads that we just featured, I think, in our last video in our uh, blindfold challenge. Oh, fuck me. When we were headed back Mount Hope Road towards Vineyard Road. And, uh, you know, we were fucking around. And I think that was in the winter. Would have had to have been because of what, what happened. And, uh, you know, we were coming around to turns, you know, fucking around. And uh, we just hit a slick patch and spun it right into a field. Yeah. It's like, yeah, first field of the night. <laughs> you know, referring to the story I told earlier. You know. You know, that was why I said that at that time. Because, as a matter of fact, I think we were talking about that right as that happened. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's go fill it up, and then we come up around and turn to fucking hell, and then, they, yeah, we wind up in one. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Haven't put this one in a field yet. I don't really want to, but, you know. Mm, yeah. That was a thing. I think we're going to climb up over the mountain today. Because, you know, why not? So, yeah. And, you know what? I think I'm going to leave this segment here for now. We'll come back when we got a few more stories. Okay. See you in a bit. All right, we're back. This time we're on X-Tract Road. A road that's kind of familiar to me because I grew up around this area and I used to, you know, ride my bike when I was a kid back this road up and down and, you know, all sorts of things like that. And Not then, to interrupt, but there was fucking Christmas lights still up on that house. Back yeah, it, we're a sneeze away from May and we are still seeing Christmas lights. It's like, you know, either, you know, turn them off during spring and summer and fall and then just... Turn them back on at Christmas time? Or, or just take them the fuck down? Yeah, seriously. I'm, I'm starting to wonder just what the hell is wrong with people. You're that fucking lazy? You can't take them down? You know, so I've seen some of them past couple weeks that 
yeah they're lit but maybe one or two strands are lit or half the strand is lit and yeah yeah it's you know stupid tag them the fuck down like that house right there it had a fucking wreath and garland around the fucking door it's like give me a motherfucking break and it's not even like it's been cold lately no you know we're past all the cold weather I mean, it's been chilly, but... It hasn't been ball freezing cold. So, get your lazy ass outside and take the motherfuckers down. Yeah, really. But go ahead. Well, you know, I was, you know, just rambling about how this is my old neighborhood and shit like that. That's really about all the further I was going with that, but, you know... I was trying to think, of, you know, what else to talk about tonight, and, uh... You know, I was getting to thinking, you know, how a lot of the videos we've made over the years have just been us just doing random nonsense, you know, like, um, you know, some of our first ones, you know, and they were really all, a lot of them just spur of the moment things, you know, like the first one that I put up on the channel, you know, the pure utter destruction thing. Yeah, we were just, we were messing with a lot of the old computers I had at the time that day. Yeah, we weren't really setting out, at that point, we didn't set out to make videos. We just did them when an idea came up. You know, we were working on something. I forget specifically what we were actually fixing that day. But we had this old mouse that we were you know, we discovered it didn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. So I decided to smash it on camera. It was a dandy of a Tandy. Yeah, it was an old Tandy 1000. For the you youngins out there who don't know what that is, you know, <laughs> it's what they had back in like the late 80s and early 90s and by today's standards, you know, you can go out and buy a TI-83 you know, graphic calculator that's got more power than one of those pieces of shit. Yeah. But anyway, and that was how that started. And, uh, like, uh, the other old one that's on the channel, you know, the stupid fucking idea. Oh, my God, that fucking thing. I mean, I, this was even before, you know, you were involved in the videos. That was That one was the oldest one on the channel that, as far as what was recorded, you know, it was made before the other one, but I put it up second. But anyway, um, that was the day, part of a day where we did a long series of recording different shit. That was like, you know, back, that wasn't even my camera that that video was shot on. That was the guy who shot the video's camera. I'm not going to say his name because I, yeah. I wouldn't want to say it without, you know, his consent, but, you know, that was his camera. The rest of them were all shot with my camera. But that particular day, we shot a lot more videos than that. And a lot of those have just gotten lost over the years. You know, me and him and there was a couple other guys involved back then. We made a bunch of videos back then none of them you'll ever see because I don't know what happened to them and you know I've gotten you know out of touch with those guys and things happened and long story short they'll never be seen for various reasons but yeah. there were also some early ones that we made that will never be seen because we don't know what happened to them no fucking idea I had them on CD and yeah we had on. them on a CD-ROM you know but we don't know whatever happened to that CD-ROM mm. But, uh, you know, that's kind of how this whole thing started, you know, because we recorded a lot of them before I even had a YouTube account, before I even knew what YouTube was. Like, back when we first started making videos, we didn't know what we were going to do with them. We just made them. They yeah. just kind of sat on my hard drive, you know. Just collecting space. Yeah, just and... taking up space. We didn't know what we were going to do with that shit back then. We had absolutely no idea what we were going to do. Then YouTube came along. You know, th this would have been 2007. You know, that was kind of a transitional year in my life. Because, you know, at that point, you know, my grandmother had just moved out of the house where I live. And we just moved in, you know. And uh, I had just, at that point, gotten a better 
internet connection than what I had before, so I was able to do shit that I couldn't really do before. You know, and I discovered YouTube, and I thought, well, there's no sense in me making an account if I don't put up something. Yeah. So I put up those first two videos just to kind of test the waters, you know. You know, and that's how that started. And, you know, even the ones before that, we like, we made the Chrome Star video even before YouTube. You know, anything, you know, that was created pre-2007 was all before we even knew YouTube was going to be a thing. Yeah. yeah. That was a long motherfucking time ago. Yeah, like the Chrome Star Runner 2 videos and uh, even the snow rafting videos, the first one predates YouTube. Our involvement with YouTube, I'll put it that way. I think YouTube started before that, but we didn't know about it at the time. But, uh, you know, we just did all these things spur of the moment. You know, they were completely random. We didn't know what we were going to do with them. And then once, you know, we got into uploading stuff, you know, Which then we started. That was back with dial up days, trying to upload some of that shit. Well, no, I, no, this was all after, after that. You know, I didn't start doing oh. YouTube until after I got rid of that. But uh, no, I didn't start uploading stuff, you know, until 2007 when I had a higher speed connection. Okay, yeah, you're right. But um, no, at once we started do putting them up, then we started trying to think of other things to make. You know, you know that was and back then and even today somewhat, but back then more so. You know, there were what I guess you would call a fad video. You know, it was the things like the Mario Paint stuff that I used to have up here, and the one like the, uh, but I took a lot of these down because, you know, the content of this channel has changed over the years, and, you know, I didn't feel a lot of those older things fit with the channel anymore. You know, I still have the two Mario Paint videos I made up, but, like, the things I used to have up, like those, uh, Sonic mashup videos, that was a fad for a while. Uh, the big the cat stares at you while I play unfitting music. That fad was around everywhere. I started doing that stuff back then because that's what everybody else was doing, and I really didn't know what direction this channel was going to go in at that time. But in the meantime, we would still make videos here and there, and thinking we're going to put them up on YouTube. Like that was like how the uh, you know video of, you know, us being drunk idiots mowing the yard came about. Oh, yeah. Jesus. With, yeah. with Dwayne and the yeah. rest of us, you know. That one was more of a conscious effort that we knew was going to be on YouTube. Yeah. You know. Or like the videos we did with like the slow card and the Aryans. That was all post we knew we were doing YouTube era. Yeah, you know, but at that point we really didn't know exactly what we were going to do with this channel yet because back then we were still making, you know, just random stuff. You know, like a lot of the lawnmower stuff and whatnot. And, you know, the first, I would say, five years of this channel's existence, we really had no focus whatsoever. I don't really think we still have a focus, but at least now we have more of a formula. Yeah, we just, you know, fuck it, yellow. Right. But, like, the later random stuff. Like anything like before 2013 was all of our random stuff. You know, we really didn't know what we were making back then. We just made whatever the fuck we felt like. You know, the, and then the later ones, you know, like the robo mower, mm -hmm. and, you know. The abandoned turnpike videos and stuff that like that. That was fun. That was a hell of a lot of fun. And we're gonna do another one similar to that later this year when we get a chance. We're going to uh, hopefully be able to go up the thousand steps. Yep. We just haven't had a chance to pick a date for that yet, but we're working on that. But, um, 2013, you know, we made, we uploaded the stuff like Chief Gerlonimo and the, <laughs> the abandoned turnpike stuff. And, you know, I had recently acquired that little the little device that I use to record all of our game footage right. and stuff. And I didn't really know what to do with it. Like, at that point, 
I was just starting to discover th things, you know, like the YouTube gamers and stuff. Right. People yeah. like Markiplier, PewDiePie, Cinnamon Toast Ken, people like that. You know, I was just starting to discover all of that. Uh, Jack Septic Guy is another one I've gotten into recently. But, uh, and before that, you know, the guy that kind of started the whole online gaming genre, James Rolfe, was a big inspiration for me to do that stuff. Like those, the first two unofficial episodes of Nate Fails At, where I was playing Sonic Chaos, you know, I use a small snippet of the Angry Nerd theme song at the beginning of those because the first one was just a random video we did. We were bored one day, and I decided to do this little Angry Nerd-esque rambling while I was playing the game, just, you know, kind of poking fun at James Rolfe, you know. And then the second one, I was just bored in my room one night and decided to see if I could make it any further than that stupid bouncy thing. But uh, getting back on the point I'm trying to make here, um, I made up my mind by the end of 2013 that I wanted to do, wanted us to do YouTube on a more consistent basis with more focus. Right. So that was when we started doing these road trips on camera. That was sort of the test to see if we could do a regular recurring series. That is how this started. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we did, you know, the first one, you know. Yeah, we did, you know. I, what was the first one called now? Uh, oh my god. We've done so fucking many, I forget what the first one was I called. Yeah. But, uh. Huh. Snow Business, I think, was the first one. I think you're right. And yeah. Cake. You know, that one. Yeah. You know, those first you're gonna ones. Spell it wrong, spell it, or if you're gonna, you're gonna, yeah. if you're gonna spell it wrong, wrong spell, spell it right. right. YOLO. But, you know. Yeah, this is where you fucking. Yeah, this is where I got you bastard. turned around in the blindfold challenge. Fucking bastard. Yeah. But, um. Those were kind of a test to see if we could do this as an like turn this into something resembling a series and here we are you know we're still doing this you know a year and a half later yeah but uh i did the capture card test which is you know elsewhere on this channel mm -hmm. to see if i could record game footage and make it into something i could actually work with and i was successful and i left that okay. idea sit for a little while so I could decide just what format I wanted to use because ah, we're getting rid of my train but you can, oh, you can just barely make it out yeah. on video but um originally my thought process with those gaming videos is I wanted to do more of a review like James Rolfe okay. my problem is, is I don't have the patience to write a script <laughs> okay. I don't I don't like doing anything scripted like all these videos we do are completely improvised. Yeah. I don't script anything. The only thing I've done on this channel that was even remotely scripted was our most recent April Fool's video. And even that, all the character dialogue was improvised by me. The only thing that was really scripted was I knew how I wanted it to end, and I knew what games were going to be played, and I knew what I wanted the results to be. So that was really only semi-scripted. Yeah, but all the, the dialogue, I recorded that whole thing in one take, if you couldn't tell, you know. Mm -hmm. What, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I, that, but getting back to what I was saying, that was when I started discovering, you know, the uh, more recent, you know, online gamers that I mentioned. You know, they're toward the end of 2013. No, I mentioned this in a previous video. I think it was the uh, last Happy Wheels video I did, as a matter of fact. The first thing like that I ever saw was Markiplier playing Surgeon Simulator. And that format, you know, that live commentary, you know, just reacting to what's happening in front of you, I decided that was the approach I wanted to take. Yeah, that... You know. To, to, for you to... Because anybody who knows me knows I'm a very random and spontaneous person, and I don't hold a lot back. 
Yeah, he is. Right. So I decided that was the approach I wanted to take, and I might have mentioned this before, but the first one I ever uploaded was the, the you know the Family Feud one. That I consider that the first official episode of Nate Fails at, like the Sonic Chaos ones. I consider those kind of like pilot episodes. Right. Yeah. I consider Family Feud episode one. I tried several times before that one was uploaded to record a video like that because I one I suck at editing that's why the editing in a lot of these videos are, is very basic because I fucking suck I have Adobe Premiere I have no idea how to use it <laughs> I, I the, the software that I use primarily which is probably obvious as sin is Windows Movie Maker <laughs> right and I have recently started using a CyberLink Power Director. That's how I put my webcam footage in the corner now. <laughs> and uh, I also use it, you know, to do a few things that Movie Maker can't do. I'm learning, you know. Yeah. I'm, this is a learning process. It's a learning process. <laughs> I mean, I don't have the best equipment. I have yeah. off-the-shelf computers that you could get any day of the week. I don't have a uh, good up system that's why I don't do anything other than like retro gaming right now and the occasional you know low spec PC game yeah but anyway uh, I there the Wheel of Fortune video was a redo the first Wheel of Fortune video that was a redo of a failed attempt I made the first time around uh, the Jeopardy NES video that was a redo of a failed attempt which I didn't realize this at the time until after I had them edited that my mic wasn't on during those Jeopardy videos. But luckily at that time I would leave the webcam mic turned on as a backup. Mm -hmm. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> you know, but anyway. And uh, I think there was one other one that I recorded before that that ended up not working. But I wanted to do the webcam version like I do now originally. Right. And I tried so very fucking hard to do that. And this was back when I first got my hands on Premiere. Every time I would save the finished product, I would get a mastodonic file. I would get like a 200 gigabyte file. It's like, what the fuck? And when I would try to adjust settings to reduce the file size, I'd get a video that looks like it was recorded on a calculator. <laughs> so it's like, that's when I said, fuck this shit. So I, you know, was talking about it, you know, with my friend Adam, who is one of my uh, friends from my New Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog series. And, uh, you know, I was talking with him about that. And uh, eventually, after we discussed this, I decided, well, I'm gonna see if I can do it without webcam footage. And that was how I came up with the idea, show my face in the intro and at the end, and then just put my voice over the game footage. And that was how I made the, the uh, Family Feud video and most of the videos up through Dr. Mario after that. That's how I made all of those. It was just footage of me at the beginning, footage of me at the end, and then an MP3 of the rest of the webcam footage over the game footage. The fundamental problem with that is it made it a pain in the ass to edit anything out. Because if I wanted to do that, I would have to save the finished product and then go back and edit it and save it again. Yeah. So I usually just left everything in. So if I fucked up or, you know, died a bunch of times, you'd have to see everything. Because otherwise it would be a pain in the ass for me to take it all out. Which, you know, I made it work. Yeah. Now what I do, I kind of do save everything twice. But I do save everything twice, you know. Mm -hmm. But I do it because it's just easier for me to go back and edit that way. I kind of got over the whole having to do that twice thing. 
because I put the webcam footage in first. I get every, I get the, get them synced up. That's, right, yeah. that's the most tedious part is getting the webcam footage synced up with the game footage. I save that as a raw file and then I go back and edit that and that makes it, for me personally, that makes it a hell of a lot easier because I use two different systems to record. I have the game footage recording on one and me on the other because I don't have a powerful enough system to do them as one thing together. Someday I will and it's going to streamline the process so much, but for now that's how I do it. And it works, and I'm going to stick with it until I can come up with something better. But, uh, yeah. So that's how I make those. And, you know, I kind of got off on that tangent, but to come full circle here, we've gone from just pointing a camera at us and making random shit to now we do stuff with the formula and more rhyme and reason to it. Like, even these videos of us driving around, you know, we come up with what we're going to talk about next in the in-between when we cut from segment to segment you know we'd like we try to pick a new area to explore if we can you know mm -hmm. and we try to have some kind of theme across these you know and then there's you know like the moment with Nate's grandma videos you know she thinks up what she's going to talk about you know in the month between them, each of them and you know that's kind of got its own formula and we still make random stuff now and then, and we're going to continue to evolve, you know. This whole second half of this video has just been me rambling about the evolution of this channel, but I wanted to get that out there just so you guys know that we're not just doing this shit, you know, just completely free-spirited. There is some method to the madness, you know, even though our theme tonight was, you know, YOLO, but in a way, that's still what we're doing, you know. We're just doing it in a more organized and methodical manner than we have in the past. And, you know, I'm going to try and wrap this up now because this has been going on for a while now. But, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing with this channel. We're going to continue to do more things. So I think that's all I've got for tonight. So, you know, as per usual, if for some reason you enjoy this, like and subscribe, <laughs> leave a comment, let us know what else you want us to do on this channel, in this series, or anything in general, you know. And, we uh, need feedback, please. I mean, we don't have a lot of subscribers right now, but we've been gaining them slowly, and I do appreciate that. You know, those of you who actually care enough about what we have to say and what we're doing, thank you. <laughs> yes, we we appreciate the people who who watch our videos. Who, you know, yeah. if you watch it and you like it, subscribe it. Subscribe to us and let you know. Tell other people about yes. it. Yes, you know, we're a very small channel. We want to get yeah. bigger. So if you like what we're doing, spread the word. Yeah. So you know, let us be known. Right. We're just a bunch of hicks from Central Pennsylvania, and we would like the world to know. That's right. So on that note, I think we're done with this one. So we'll see you next time when we uh, have, you know, more time to explore. Yeah. And maybe instead of us riding around in the same old goddamn place, we'll come up with some new locations. Exactly. All right. I think we're done.